हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस हेयर आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो फॉर यू गाइस एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी अमेजिंग एंड सुपर वीडियो बिकॉज आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई एम श्योर दैट आई विल सेव एट लीस्ट फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स इन एवरी ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्ट्स राइट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वर्ट दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ यू कैन एटोमेट यूर फ्लटर फायर और फायर बेस इंटग्रेशन विद योर फ्लटर एप so in this video we will be understanding how we can use the power of cli to register a flutter app in firebase and get all the dependencies and files from there and directly uh, use it in our flutter app so let's get started so first of all i have to go toward the flutter fire website and then i have to click on get started button after clicking on get started button uh, here what we can see is the get started or view page uh, if you can see on the left panel uh, there's a option called cli let's click on it after clicking on cli cli is something that we can use from terminal or command prompt cmd uh, basically in order to use cli we have to install first of all npm okay so now what is npm npm is a node package manager which is which is used uh, in flutter fire cli so let's understand how we can install it in order to install npm we have to move toward the downloads okay we have to search for node.js.org and then we have to go toward the download section uh, let me search it again we have to call node and download and we have to click on the first link after this you should select this lts long term support version and select the platform on which you are so i am make i will select this one and it will start downloading so i have already uh, installed and downloaded so i'm not going to do it from scratch and after you download the uh, node and you install it then after installation you should go to a your terminal uh, if you are window you just open your cmd or if you are in mac you just open terminal and write node minus v this basically shows the version of the node so the currently i have installed 16.13.0 version of the node after this we have to uh, execute another command npm minus v so this is the node package manager which i am using is 8.1.0 so after installing node we have to again go towards cli and we have to copy this line okay and bim install minus g minus g is basically uh, a flag for global installation and flutter base tools uh, sorry file base tools just copy it and paste it over here Okay uh, if you have successfully installed npm you will directly see something like this okay uh, it is saying that uh, okay uh, exs the operation was rejects rejected by your operating system it is likely you do not have the permission okay so if you are on mac you will probably uh, get this issue in order to resolve this issue we have to write sudo and then we have to paste the blo um, then we have to paste the command that we have copied and press enter it will ask you for the password so we have to enter our password and press enter and then it will start installing again i have already installed but maybe it uh, updates uh, update the current version okay that's correct it's updating it is saying that please upgrade uuid package please update hr validator so for now i'm not going to update anything just want to show you how it is uh, working so let's wait when it's done then we will proceed okay guys uh, it's been uh, updated successfully uh, it is saying that Uh, seven to seven cookies has been uh, changed, and this is audited. Also, it will give you some commands if you are um, stuck in any error. So for now, it is saying that you have nine vulnerabilities to fix it. Use npm audit fix or something like this. 
but i'm not going to fix anything because uh, everything is working with me right now the next thing uh, that you have to do after installing firebase tools is uh, you guys have to globally activate flutter fire cli i have already did but let's see enter and it is going to uh, resolve some dependencies and also it will download as you guys can see uh, it will download further dependencies from the flutter sorry from the pub.dev and it will probably take little time with you guys uh, because i have already installed and it is done very quickly so now it is saying that uh, flutter fire cli has been activated successfully okay guys that's uh, gr good news so now let's learn let's learn for me how you guys can do the further stuff or here okay so we have to create a project uh, using vs code i'm going to use i'm going to use a vs code or you guys can see use android studio 2 let's open vsc and visual studio code has been opened successfully and i'm going to create a project a flutter project control shift and p and it's going to be a project not module uh, let's select location for it and i'm going to name it academy and the location name is uh, firebase underscore cli test okay so we are going to test how it is uh, minimizing the manual work i hope you guys will enjoy firebase cli after learning this because it it usually save you are 5 to 10 minutes okay of all the configuration of downloading google service file info.plist file google service info.plist file and all the uh, dirty configurations okay firebase project has been created successfully now let's move toward the terminal okay after this we just have to call firebase configure flutter fire configure and press enter so it will okay one more thing sorry you don't have to do this right uh, let me delete this the first thing that you have to do after installing or after activating after executing this line of code is you have to call firebase login and it will take a little time so you guys can see uh, it is saying that you are already login as a Quraysh summer 796 this is my email but you will be prompted with a link or it will automatically open a web browser for you guys and you just have to enter your email and password in order to log into the firebase from cli this is very very necessary after login into firebase cli then we have to execute this code flutter fire configure and make sure you execute this from the very root of the project like you guys can see firebase cli test this is my root so i am in the root now let's execute over here okay when you log in successfully into your firebase so this means that the firebase account is now registered with your cli and you will get a list of projects if you have in your uh, uh, firebase so it will be listed over here then you have to select from them if you want to uh, register with the already created project then just select the project uh, to which you want to add so i'm going to uh, use a project for this uh, let's create one uh, or use the existing one over here so the current application i'm going to register with java by osama and i'm going to press enter so after this uh, it will ask us that please select the uh, platforms to which you want to register your app for now i'm just going to select android and ios how i can select is just uh, select the um, platform and press space pressing space is going to select or unselect it after doing this just press enter and now it is fetching a registered android firebase app for project okay uh, let me let me show you it will automatically add 
build our uh, sorry google service file over here after successfully creating this and you guys can see we have firebase cli underscore test ml uh, and few files are going to create on runtime let's wait Uh, I have another file over here, Firebase CLI test. Okay, so it's been done. You guys can see automatically Google service.json file has been downloaded. Also, there is new file has been created Firebase options. And if I can show you in the iOS inside the runner, okay, uh, you guys can see Google service.n for our plist file 2 over here. So now it is saying that the files Android build and will be updated. Okay, it is saying that after applying Firebase CLI, may it require few updation in your code. Would you allow us to do some updation regarding dependencies? So we just have to uh, click by default or press enter. Okay, yes, please do some configurations. And yeah, it is done. So basically, we have registered. Uh, our app in this project Java Bio. So if I can show you, uh, let's see our project uh, Android manifest and see the package name. It is saying that com dot example dot firebase cli test. So the package name of my project is com dot example dot firebase cli test. Let's see if our app is really registered in the firebase project. Just go to the firebase console and open your login account so i'm just going to open the account that i have login with Pureshu Sama and let's see for the project java by osama okay it's not exist over here okay this is the project that i have registered let's click on this okay guys you can see it is saying that i have three apps registered okay so com dot firebase sorry com dot example dot firebase cli test okay so yeah this is how powerful it is so now let's see further how we can do uh, dependency installations using firebase cli okay after doing all this stuff you will get an error because we have to install firebase core and how we can do this by using firebase cli is very very simple we just have to go toward the core and click on usage and before doing this I think we have to install it let's go toward the overview and we have to copy this line flutter pub add firebase underscore core so now we don't have to go toward pubswag.yml file and we have to paste uh, the dependency over here so this all stuff is now handling by firebase cli now let's press enter sorry it's not done by firebase cli but it's flutter by itself now i have executed the code and you guys can see they have installed further or a few dependencies for us and now the error has been gone uh, and this is all about this video Thank you, go, uh, thank you so much guys if you have enjoyed the video and I hope I have successfully saved your few minutes of configuring your Flutter project with Firebase. Thank you so much for wa watching the video. Please subscribe if you have not and also share with your friends. Thank you.